this is Victor. I'm here with a new Necromunda book. This time it's time to look at the House of Faith, the most fanatic um, band in Necromunda, the Cloudor. Okay, so let's make a look inside of this book. It's it's quite a thick. This these Warband books are very thick, to be fair. And we're looking here. What is about 100? Maybe in the glossary we can see it. Is it no? 134 pages. So it's quite. They're quite thick, there is a lot of information and, uh, and a lot of rules. So and I really enjoy them. I like to collect in this type of books. Uh, and yeah, I don't know, it's a little bit of my, my passion to collect this type of uh, rules and books. Especially when they are so nice. Look, this art is... Of course, if you go like that, you will die soon, right? I don't think you, you have a lot of uh, life hope going with a frame on your head. But he will know. Okay, we, hope we go to the house, Caldor. Really nice artwork. So here we have the background. Okay, of, of the... This, this, this are always with the background. The background, I think, will be about the first 50 pages, more or less. And then we will start having... No, I think we go... I don't know. We, maybe we will go earlier to the rules. And we don't have too many... No, sorry, the background is just 27 pages. And there is a lot of rules, so you don't have too much, too many uh, background on, on these books normally. And it's, uh, sometimes it's mixed with explanation of what is doing everything. So here you have the house structure of the how they are organized, the crowd or warbands, uh, the house territories, house enclaves, okay, and gangs of religion. Then we start with the uh, Caldor gang list. So weapons and war gear and yeah, all, all this, all, all what you need to organize your warband. Uh, there, there is a lot of depth now on, on Necromunda, a lot of rules and a lot of uh, details on how to organize. So it's really, uh, it, it's really a very interesting skirmish game where you can, you know, you can run out of. Um, uh, ammunition. You can be. You can fall from the top floor if there is not. Uh, um, yeah. So it's called this uh, a fence to protect from falling down. So there is a lot of uh, small rules <coughs> that try to uh, to make it a little bit in a way more realistic. Although we're playing in a really gothic future. Okay. So we have here the Redemptionist priest. That is the leader, and I guess they are. They will be the Caldor leader, right? Yeah, the Caldor war keeper. So you can have a Redemptionist leader or a, a normal Caldor. Um, yeah, the Redemptionists are the most fanatic of them. Okay, it's like the Inquisition in a way. So, but the, the, is the Inquisition warband to say it in a way. And here you can see. So we have the Cow of Breath and looking to see. Here we have the Redemptionist uh, bre uh, Brethren. Okay. We have one picker. So the Zealot. This is the Juby. Okay, and then they have this Shim Bird Exotic Beast. Okay, that is this type of thing. And the uh, Sherbus Servitor. Okay, here we have one, this is a character that was uh, really existing in the past already. So, Globis the Redeemer. Look, this is really, this, this is really creepy, right? Really nice. Well, you can get as well as uh, all, the, all the others, Ambots and other type of uh, peripherics. The Flagellator is, I guess, is like a... a, a, a it's inspired on the Ark of Flagellan. Okay, the Hive Preacher, Rock Dogs, yeah, they will have dogs and gun lock out. Amojax, the Slopper. These are the Brutes, Luther Pattern Automata. Yeah, this is the Unbot, I guess, yes. Okay, and you also can have these Ogvins, Servitor Ogvins. Then you can have Hired Guns. You have everything 
to organize, to buy, so to do a campaign. So this is really this this Necromunda is really thought to make campaigns like Blue Ball is thought for leaks, right? When you go to the detail of each miniature being important almost, then you can start really adding a lot of granularity and you go with the small warrants and the intention is how you will evolve. Then we have allies of the house Cowdor, Corpse Gear, love this. I would love a miniature like that. There are so many nice ideas for miniatures here. It's a pity that I don't have enough time to paint more. Okay, you can see there is a lot of material here. Additional rules. Uh, with the skills, so then we, yeah, you need all, all the different things in case when you want to start uh, progressing. So there are some specific skills for the Cowder and especially for the Redemptionist. Okay, the Cowder terrain and the house Cowder scenario. So you also have a scenarios dedicated as all the books for them. A little bit of showcase. So you can see how they look like. So we have the Redemptionist. I really like. I like. If I will do them, I think I will do a weapon of only Redemptionist. It's, it's really what it's inspiring me. Okay. In the past used to be a separate weapon, if I'm not wrong. And then we have here all the weapon reference. Okay, and the armors and equipment and everything that you need to play with this so you have all the rules for your warband here so a lot of rules on these books um, yeah these are really nice books where you can have if you play any of these factions or any of these warbands you will have all the detail you need to play it okay so uh, uh, I like to have them I like as a collectionist I always like to read and to make a look because there are always some explanation behind uh, there is some sometimes some background mixed with the rules, and I like to, to spend some time, uh, yes, uh, enjoying the books. Okay, so that's all what you have here. Okay, I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope you like what you see here. Please give a like if you have liked it. Let me know if this is interesting for you. And as usual, thanks a lot for watching, and see you again later. Bye.